So let me show you the use of any or all with subqueries. They're rather straightforward. Here I have a list of all the products, and when I say uh, where, let's say we want to find the cheapest product. There's a, there's a few ways we could do this, where unit price is equal to select min unit price. Uh, let's go to the next line. From products. So this is one way I could get it. This is the cheapest product in the table. Or I could say um, select, this, and this may be a little more inefficient, but there's some places where any or all makes sense. Let's select all the unit prices from products here. So there's all the unit prices. And I want to find where the unit price is less than or equal to all of the unit prices in the product table. Well, there's only going to be one. Oh, sorry. There's only going to be one product that or unit price is less than or equal to all the unit prices in the products table. Unless there's more than one product with a unit price of 2.50. So, so that's what that's the use of all there. Notice we have to have a comparison operator here. It could be any of the less than, greater than, greater than, equal to, equal to, any of those. Uh, comparison, and then we put all here. And all means it must, it must be true for all of the items in that list. Okay, and also notice I have to select a single column just so we, as we've done with previous subqueries. So less than or equal to all of the items or all the unit prices in the products table. And we get this nice result. So that's all. There's also um, that you can use, you can put any here or you can put some. And unfortunately, some or any, they mean the same thing. It means at least one. So I'm going to say select splat for products where the unit price is let's do less than um, at least one of the unit prices in the products table. So when I run this, think about what this query is going to do. It essentially is going to compare the unit price of every single product in the product table. And if that unit price is less than any, in fact, let's put some here. Some may read a little bit better. Then some, meaning at least one, if that unit price is less than one, of the unit prices in the products table. In fact, let's just do that as a separate query down here so you can see it. Run it. So, so if the unit price in the products table is less than at least one of these values in this list down here. You can scroll through this list. Then, then we'll get that row as a result. Well, think about it. The only product where the unit price won't be less than at least one product is the most expensive one. Which, if you recall, was that, that well, let's just, let's make it easy here. Order by uh, unit price. Unit price, let's do descending. So we put it at the beginning there. Let's rerun that. So unit price is 123.79. Um, remember, the most expensive product, if I recall, was that one product that was, I think it was 263, um, somewhere around there. Anyway, so so just just in summary, there is, uh, oh, we got to do the proper commenting here. There's some or any, they both mean the same thing. They mean at least one element. And then there's all, which means all of them. It has to be true for all of them. In order to do any of these kind of queries, we have to have some comparison operation here. And then a subquery, and between the two, we have the, the qualifying word.